Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today is Friday, which is Update Friday, which means just an announcement, no bug fixes or features are being released. And so before we get started, uh, let's take a look at the poll that we did a couple weeks ago. All right, so here's the poll. So the question was, the devs asked, do you want minor updates every other week or bug fixes and quality of life updates, okay? And out of 166 votes, it came out to 77% said they want fixes and quality of life. So today's announcement might be that this is what they are looking towards, which could be good news. As you heard me last week, my rant, I'm reserved to say that things might not change too much, but in tr trying to be optimistic after getting lots of sleep, uh, this could be the step in the right direction. So let's look at the uh, update. So the announcement is the upcoming vehicle management upgrades, okay? So I don't consider this like a feature. This would be more of quality of life and kind of fit in with the bug fix kind of, I guess, uh, you know, category. So let's read it real quick. This week we discussed the new upgrade that we are planning to the vehicle management engine within Stormworks. That's hard to say, but the vehicle management engine, the section of code, that manages how vehicles, I guess, are calculated and how they are, you know, uh, placed around the world and sent between servers and all that good stuff. Uh, that's what they're going to be working on. So again, I think this is a quality of life category rather than a feature because this is changing how the vehicle management system works in kind of a significant way that could help multiplayer. So let's keep reading. Currently in Stormworks, a single vehicle contains all the physics bodies related to that vehicle. This can include the main vehicle body as well as the hinge parts such as custom doors or cranes and any attached parts such as droppable bombs or lifeboats. Because these objects are all managed per vehicle, this means that parts load in and out together, even if they have become very spread out. They can become spread out if the part is dropped or a solid rocket booster is fired off or a lifeboat leaves its parent ship. So this picture of the ship, everything we see here from the containers to the ship itself, doors, lifeboats, if there were, I think there's a lifeboat in the back, is all one vehicle, okay? A shipping container is part of this vehicle. It is the vehicle, okay, currently. So what they wanna change is how these parts are managed when they separate. When this container falls off in the water and this ship keeps going, it wants to manage it differently, and so let's keep reading. The issue with the vehicle being spread over a large area is that it's hard for the vehicle management engine to decide when that vehicle should be unloaded. This makes it difficult for the game to unload distant islands that the vehicle may be resting on or unload these distant objects, which can improve performance. With the explosions introduced in the Weapons DLC, a vehicle entirely encapsulated with an explosion can become completely destroyed and despawned. Sometimes you can see the missiles hit a target before exploding, then bouncing off the target or becoming stuck in it. These missiles should really be completely destroyed because they are considered part of the larger vehicle, they are not. Okay, this is a big thing here. So they're talking about two things here. So when you fire a missile and it goes off and maybe doesn't hit a target and it lands on a land way far away from where you are or you fly away, that island cannot despawn so it keeps everything in memory for you. So it starts to degrade your performance because now you have a missile off on the far distant tile that is staying loaded and won't unload. And so now you're you're keeping everything in memory from where you are all the way to that missile that is far, far away. And that is starting to degrade your performance. The second thing they're talking about is those missiles, since they are part of your larger vehicle, even though they are taking enough damage to be unloaded, and despawned since they are considered part of your main vehicle they are remaining in the world which means again they're not disappearing so in theory the, the update that they want to do is that missile once it leaves your vehicle is not part of your vehicle so it goes off it is a missile you are a plane and if it hits something uh, and blows up it will disappear if it goes off and lands on an island and you are far enough away from that missile that missile is going to despawn, the island is going to unload, and your performance should stay higher. So that sounds like a good quality of life, you know, update. So let's see what it says now. So this is something we are working deep within the game engine. 
we plan to split the vehicles into sub-vehicles. These sub-vehicles will be managed independently of each other. This means that each sub-vehicle will only occupy a small amount of space, which gives a huge advantage when managing them. Missiles and bombs will be destroyed when they hit their target. Distant vehicle parts will unload unless they have a keep alive block, which will help performance in some situations. This change will also be very useful for future major update that we are working on. Uh, that one, I don't know. I don't... Future major update that they're working on. This will be helpful. I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. Uh, I, nothing is coming to mind right now. But the idea here again is that since they are working on this part of the engine that is managing vehicles, as they are digging into this code after whatever it's been, four years, five years, they may see something that they haven't looked at in a long time and maybe they've learned something and they can actually improve on this just even, you know, even so slightly more. You know, I don't know what that thing is that they might find, but maybe this update of separating the vehicles off into sub vehicles, maybe there's something else that can optimize. So this is good news. This is, this is really good news. They take their time, test it. I know this is the hard part, taking the time and testing it. This could be a, a real good update for Stormworks and how it behaves when we're playing it in multiplayer and in single player, but they have to test it. They have to test it. It says the player experience should otherwise not be changed. Returning the vehicle to the edit grid will return the complete vehicle rather than just part of it. While this is fundamentally a simple change to understand, vehicles connect to almost every system within the game. So this change requires us to carefully and methodically upgrade lots of code in lots of places and it has been time consuming. So it sounds like they've been working on this for a while. So that's good. But again, t test it. Before you release it to us, please test it. Please just grab testers, grab people you like and have them test it. It doesn't have to be people like me that are always uh, giving you a hard time. Uh, but yeah, get testers, test it for a couple months. Let them play with, let the people that are building a lot of sub object uh, builds sebastian comes to mind uh let's see i don't oof. all the car builders they build a lot of sub body uh things carnivore slin lots of sub bodies in there so get those folks in there into a testing thing let them sign the nda or whatever you need to do and really test this code before you release it to the uh the community just test it test it hardcore test it with you know these people's builds all right, beating a dead horse. The horse is not going to get up. Anyways, it says this upgrade should release later this year, which would be cool. Again, please test it first. Uh, we look forward to your thoughts and feedback. All right, so th that sounds very exciting. So the second poll I did is this one. It's been about a month. How has your experience with the oil disaster major update and its missions been? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's see. I said the first choice is has it been fun? Out of 173 votes, 26% said it's been fun. 74% says it's made you frosty. And I think the reason for that is that the oil is randomly spawning. I've seen it randomly spawn in my games when I'm playing. I mean, there's no ships, you know, being destroyed or damaged. And there's just oil everywhere. And I've heard reports that it slows down the dedicated servers because oil is just spawning everywhere. So hopefully this is something that they fix next week with the minor update, uh, change how oil works or just let us turn it off. So that's a big one. So next up, what do we want to do today? So we want to look at this page. This is Ice Monster 360's YouTube channel. And the reason I'm doing this is every year in the Stormy Awards, I could kind of like grab all the new channels and kind of highlight them and they get voted on and I could put, you know, mentions. But since there is no Stormy Awards this year, uh, I wanted to go ahead and just do a small part of this video that highlights some new content creators. So we've got Ice Monster 360, who has, of course, done the Queen Mary. This is his channel. It looks like he does some Titanic videos. He does some information videos on different ships and their history. And of course, he highlights his builds. And of course, there's a Queen Mary trailer. There's a Queen Mary tour. And he had another ship that he did. It was the SS America, USS America, SS America. So he does a combination of Stormworks and maybe like kind of like documentary, mini documentary uh, videos. So you may want to check him out. Link is in the description below. 
and uh, yeah, give them some love. Next up, we have 454 SS. I don't know about the SS. It always, <laughs> I always think of Germany when I see SS. I don't know. I don't know what 454 SS means, but I feel like he is a Stormworks N-word. Okay. So, so anyways, uh, he does challenges and he's been doing, of course, tutorials and he does uh, kind of views on Stormworks from his background, which is engineering. So you may want to check out his channel if you haven't done so already and uh, give him some love. Last but not least, coming out of nowhere is Pterosaur. And he's been putting out like a couple of Stormworks career story videos each day. And he will go through and do missions and talk about the builds. And yeah, I mean, if you want some Stormworks content coming out with uh, quality and a little bit of storytelling, you'll want to check out his channel. Again, links are going to be in the description for all these folks. So go ahead and uh, subscribe to them, check them out, and give them some love. All right, so that's it for today. This has been the uh, Friday announcement update. I think this is positive, like, announcement that it is a quality of life update that impacts a very significant part of Stormworks. I think this could help with multiplayer. It's definitely going to help with single player, but this could have a really positive impact on multiplayer if they do it right. So again, Geometa, please grab some testers. So far I've asked around, no one's a tester that I've heard of. So if you don't have testers from the community, please get some testers from the community. Let them test the code before you release it to us. Listen to their feedback. Make sure that this code is, you know, implemented where it doesn't cause other bugs and you've got the testers that play this game religiously, and the, the, the issues that are going to be there are going to be fixed before you release it to us. Okay? Am I asking for too much? I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm saying work with the community and let them help you test and make sure that when you do release this, it's like really positive feedback and not, oh, really great idea. It doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm ranting. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. All right, so that's it for today. Anything that I've talked about is in the links below. Go check out the, the new channels, and uh, I will see you next time.